When you want to do something great with your life, something that is beyond those visions other people around you see for themselves, they're going to try to tear you down. They'll tell you, you can't do it. You don't have what it takes. You're just a dreamer. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of people. It is. But if you want to go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, question everything you can do, you've arrived. People that don't have any dreams for themselves, they tend to be dream killers. Their family and friends and loved ones, in most cases, they will be the first to try and talk you out of your dreams, your visions and ideas. They will say, who wants you when you put on all that weight? Who wants you when you're looking like this and been through this and been through that? Nobody's interested in you. Nobody's checking for you. They'll laugh at you. They'll call you names because they have no dreams. They have no hunger for success. They don't have an appetite. They don't want it. But I want to remind you to continue to dream and dream big. It takes courage to be successful. It is far easier not to be successful. If you don't want to make waves, be mediocre, be normal and fit in. And if you're more concerned about people than your dreams, just fit in with everybody else, dress like them, walk like them, act like them, eat like them, go where they go, think like they think, do what they do. And once you neutralize your uniqueness, you don't need courage. It takes courage to be different. It takes courage to go where you've never gone before. It takes courage to be successful. It takes courage to win. People don't talk about people that don't win. If you win, they're gonna talk about you. Do you have the courage to stand there though the storms keep raging and the people get to talking and you stand there and say, I've come too far to turn around? I have the courage to go after my dream when they fight against you and your dreams of the future, that hurts. They won't see it like you do, but they don't have to. Only you do. You're the only one who has to see it for yourself. Build the kind of life that says I told you so without having to say a fucking word. Every fucking negative comment should trigger you into productive action. Every time somebody says something to you, you should go do whatever it is that is gonna make them have to eat their words. Right then, right now. We all get knocked out. Life hasn't been a crystal stair, Barry Tom. I've had my haters. I've had people who come against me, who try to sabotage me. I'm like the liar. I'm not the gazelle. I don't need something external to motivate me. I find something within. Don't expect people to understand you. Don't expect it to make sense to anybody why you've got to do this, why you have got to go, why you leave. This is a good job. I'm going. They pay you well. I'm going. Why? I don't understand. You don't have to. I'm going for me because I've made a different kind of commitment with my life. This is something I have got to do. Whatever happens to you, turn it to your advantage. So I have now made that a blessing for me as opposed to a handicap. I went and proved them wrong by engaging in self-study and consciously working to develop myself. So now they have to ask themselves, what were we thinking about? We labeled this guy. Nobody who ever ran the Olympics and trained and worked out and crossed the finish line effectively got there because they felt like working out. Your feelings will never cooperate with your dreams. Beat your feelings into captivity because when you beat your feelings into captivity, that is what discipline is. I want to position myself for greatness. I don't know everything. I have not accomplished everything. I'm not where I want to be. I'm still learning. I'm still growing. I'm still trying to get better. You've got to position yourself and stop pouting. Stop looking at what other people are getting and look at what they're doing. And if you start doing it, you'll start getting it. You don't get out of life what you want. You get out of life what you earn. When you get to the point where you do the work consistently, you invest in yourself consistently, you make sacrifices consistently when everybody else is slacking off, when everybody's partying, when everybody's making excuses, you will dominate every single person you're up against.
and your limits become non-existent. If you can believe it, you can receive it. If you can conceive it, you can attain it. The most powerful tool that you have right now in your life, in your body, is your mind. That's why the enemy fights you in your mind. He fights you in your mind. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The devil doesn't have to tie you up for you to be bound. He just has to tie up your head with stress, with worry, with aggravation, with low self-esteem, with pettiness, with anger, with hostility, with rebellion. And he can make you physically sick because your mind is sick. You just have to get your mind out of trouble. Lay your hands on your head and say, give me a new mind. Give me a new mind means give me a new perspective. Give me a new perspective. Give me a new way of looking at my situation. Give me a new way of looking at my circumstances. Get my mind ready for this year because when I get this year, there's going to be blessings. There's going to be miracles. There's going to be opportunities. Oh yes, there's going to be some struggles. It's going to be some challenges. It's going to be some tests. But even the struggles are an opportunity for me to show off the victory if my mind can handle the change. You can get your mind out, you can get your money out, you can get your family out, you can get your job out, you can get your career out, you can get your health out, you can get your prosperity out. If you can get your mind out, no devil in hell, no weapon formed against you, no enemy that hates you can stop you from being free. Grab yourself by the head and say we're coming out of this. How do you hang in there during the hard, difficult times, Les? You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. You've got to love it. It's got to be what you are supposed to do. You want to sing, and even though they want to invite you to Carnegie Hall, you're going to sing to anybody that listen to you, including sing it to yourself. You got to write, even if no one published your book, write because that was given to you to do. You do what it is you're supposed to. You're supposed to build something. You're supposed to create something. I don't know how to do it. Learn. Do whatever is required. Go into action with your dream. And don't avoid where the fights are. Get in the midst of the fight. Get knocked down so you can learn how to fight, so you can hold your position. Stand up for your dreams. Stand up for what you want in your life. Decide that your life is so meaningful to you, that you love you and you love life so much that you're going to stand up for something you want. Stand up for what you believe in because you can fall for anything. So what I say to you, that you are powerful. You have miracle working power in your life right now. But you've got to work on yourself. You've got to develop yourself. You've got to talk to yourself day in and day out. Selling yourself on you and on your potentials. And you've got to know that you are worth all of your effort. And that the key to your motivation as you get a larger vision of yourself is to know that you have something to give. Is to know that you have a reason for being in the universe at this point in time. Take that leap of faith, trust yourself, and believe that everything is going to be all right. If you concern yourself with what everyone else is doing and how everyone else feels about the things you're pursuing, you'll never get anything done. So you got to focus on yourself. You've got to focus on your dream, on your vision, on what it is you want in your life. Think that against me. That against me. Tell me it's not going to happen. Tell me it's going to fail. I love it. I want to win so bad, my hunger and appetite for success is intimidating. It scares the shit out of people. And people around me say, slow down, stop. You're doing too much. Your appetite is too big. I can't help myself. I want to win. Because I'm pissed off for greatness. Because if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you're okay with being mediocre. And ain't no man in here okay with being just space. Don't let these opinions of other people pull you off course. How do you do that? You ignore and outwork 
each and every one of them. You see, while they watch you and talk shit about you, you put in more effort, you work diligently, you focus on taking things to the next level. They'll keep spreading rumors and you will keep working. They'll keep talking negatively and you will keep working. They'll keep focusing on everything and everyone else and you'll keep working. And when they finally take a look around at their lives and compare it to yours, they'll come to the realization that they have absolutely no valid reasons to criticize anymore. And they will be the ones to lose while you will be the one to succeed. When people talk shit about you, you work twice as hard to shut them the fuck up. You don't take advice from sheep when you're a fucking wolf. I will not be outworked. You may be smarter, you may be faster, you may be better than me in nine different categories, but you will never work harder than me. I will make my dreams come true. I don't care what it takes, I'll pay whatever price is required. Because if you're willing to go through all the battle you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to someone, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, it ain't nobody's right to say no, and to earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Only those that can see the invisible can do what seems to be impossible. You have to be relentless. You have to never let off the gas, never stop, never quit. Never allow anyone to talk you out of the dream, the vision, and ideas that God has sent you. You gotta grind and hustle. You're gonna even have the doubt, the spirit of doubt is gonna kick in. And you're gonna say, why did I move out here? Everybody laughed at me. Everybody was looking at me like, man, you crazy as a mom. You just gonna leave your city, the comfortability of your house, your family, your environment, all your friends, your loved one to go seek a dream and a seek something that you're passionate about? Absolutely. Because it's very easy to become your environment. It's very easy to become duplicates of the mediocre and average people surrounding you. So wake up every day and decide that you love yourself enough to commit yourself to you. Make all these people who are betting against you, all these people who think you can't get it done, make them all feel like idiots for doubting you. And you only ever get to that point through one thing, discipline. You're supposed to live your life, focus on your intentions and do your thing. All the people that are living on the top have all decided that I'm gonna commit myself to this career, this vision, this goal, training, education, no parties. They're gonna call you names. They're gonna say you're corny. They're gonna call you a square. They're gonna say that you're a weirdo because you don't fuck with nobody. Those are the characteristics of a champion. Those are the characteristics of someone that have said, that I have decided that I'm going to create a shift in this universe. If you look at documentaries on Steve Jobs and Oprah and all of the above, they are weird because they've seen things that no one else seen for their career path. They are living beyond what is expected because they were obedient to the vision. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. You gotta eat it, you gotta drink it, you gotta sleep it, like it has to consume who you are. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're gonna be the apex, you gotta be it, not talk about it. And people know when they think about this area, that's something you do, that you eat and sleep that, and that you do that, you do that, and people know it. You gotta be it, it has to consume you, it has to take over you, that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word, it ought to illuminate from you. You've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you doing exactly what they're doing, separate yourself. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the doggone standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. One day I made a decision that enough is enough. I'm tired of being average. 
I'm tired of being good. I'm tired. I want to move to the nicest neighborhood. I want to fly first class. I made a decision. Enough is enough. It's showtime. I wake up every morning at three o'clock. Why? Because you just got to get there before the genius get there. They ain't waking up to eight. So if you get up at three, you ain't got to be smarter than them. You just got to be quicker than them. You just got to be faster than them. You just got to get to the spot before they get to the spots. You ain't got to be them. You ain't got to be on their level. You don't have to be as smart. You don't have to become them. You can stay you, but you got to get there before they get there. If you're going to stay you, you have to get this concept of going all in. You have to get this beast mode. Every day I feel like eating. Every day I feel like giving my wife the best life. Every day I feel like driving in a nice car. Every day I feel like flying first class. Every single day of my life, I feel like giving a hundred and twenty. Every single day, I don't have days where I don't feel like it. Why? Because I'm counting on me. My wife's counting on me. I don't have days to waste. When you want it that bad, when you wake up early in the morning, when everything else is secondary to you, you're going to be successful, but until you do that, you'll never have it. When you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you'll be successful. There are a lot of people who are biting their fingers in fear that they might lose their jobs. But there are few people who have decided within themselves, I'm going to make it. Some people aren't waiting to be cut. Some people are moving on their own because they feel within themselves, I've got what it takes to make it. They're not afraid about tomorrow because of how they see themselves, because of what they feel that they deserve, because of what they feel that they can create for themselves. Because these people have decided, as they look at the future, as they look at themselves, there's a way, where there's a will, there's a way for me to begin to create a way out of no way. And when you have that kind of consciousness, when you have that kind of spirit, nothing can stop you. Nothing. What does the $500,000 a year person do? The $50,000 a year person doesn't do. He pays the price a little bit more. He works hard in a little bit more. He believes in a little bit more. He makes money in a little bit more. He saves money in a little bit more. If you want to win in business, you got to be tough and you can't quit. Somebody's going to win, you or him. And the person that wins is going to want it the most. This business is nothing but an attitude business. It's your attitude about you. It's your attitude about life. If you go out there this week and you just think you're supposed to be somebody, you're going to do something big and you go out there and you work hard and you prepare well and you get up mentally and you go out there and you leave it all on the field and you just have a feeling that dad gummit, this is our time. We, we gonna do it. You got a chance to win. Life gives you what you'll fight for. Life don't give you what you want. Life don't give you what you'd love to have. Everybody would love to be successful, right? Everybody wants success. They want financial independence. Life gives you what you will excel. If you want to win, you got to show up and demand for yourself success and fulfillment and happiness. I believe desire and determination is everything. It ain't talent, it ain't brains, it ain't education, it's desire and determination. You've got to have a will to win. You've got to have a hunger to be somebody. This is your life. This is your legacy. This is who you are. You're writing your history right now. We got to get to work, man. We got to get to work because we live in a damn time where we have every f***ing opportunity to be our best self. 